Hey, what's going on everybody? It is your boy, and we're on the PlayStation 4. We're going to set up a static IP address, so instead of having a dynamic IP address. Now, the difference between the two static IP address is we're going to have the IP address always remain the same. Versus a dynamic IP address, it will always change every time that you turn on your PlayStation 4. Now, this will only work on internally on your network, uh, whatever your router slash modem assigns you because of the DHCP server. If you're trying to change your IP address in general, like for example, if you go to ipchicken.com, if you're trying to change that IP address, that's the IP address that your ISP, your internet service provider has assigned you. If you're trying to change that, that's your external IP address. I have videos down in the description below if you're wanting to learn how to change that. So, but we're gonna be working internally on the network. So. The benefits of having a static IP address is if for port forwarding, uh, UPnP uh, services that will route correctly sometimes. Um, it could be a diff it'll route to like a different IP address. And sometimes there's IP address that a existing other device is on the network that has already taken and the two IP addresses are conflicting with each other. Sometimes that happens. It's rare on occasion, but sometimes that happens. So how to get to these settings is what you need to do is go towards your um, toolbox here where it says settings, then go towards your network, then go towards the view connection status. Now, before we continue, if you guys can do me one big solid favor is to Hit the big red, red button that says subscribe uh, well, along with the post notifications. Every time that I live stream or upload a video, you'll be notified. When I do a live stream and if you have any technical questions or if you want to come hang out, let me know. That's what I'm here for. I love to have fun. And make sure you know you share this on all of your social media and hit the like button. Okay. So the things that you need to worry about is the subnet mask and the default gateway. So make sure you write down those numbers. I know all the numbers may not match what you see on my screen and I'm going to be talking about what numbers you may have, but you want to write down the subnet mask and the default gateway. Those are the important things that you want to change. All right. All right. Want to keep because we're going to be putting that in manually later. So on the IP address, it says 10.0.0.114. Your may, yours may say 192.168 point something point something, right? So if we go here on towards the desktop, um, again, mine says 10.0.0.114. Uh, yours might say 192.168, then it could be 0 0.0, then point whatever, point 0.1, then point whatever, or point 0.2, or point whatever right yours may be different but but these three numbers at the very beginning so the, the first section the second section and the third section you're going to keep you're going to write that down it's the last one that we're going to change it can be anywhere from 2 to 255 and some routers like this one cuz it's already assigned at um what am I saying? Some numbers or some routers need three through 254. So it's kind of weird. So you should be in that safe realm anywhere between three and 254. But uh, copy down each section and we're going to change the last. So I hope that makes sense. Now we're going to move back towards our PS4. Um, if you somehow mess up any of this, you can just leave things at automatic and you'll have your connection back again. So we're going to be changing the IP address. We're going to keep the subnet and the default gateway the same. So um, if we go towards our setup internet connection, um, if you're using Wi-Fi or LAN cable, either or, it doesn't matter. It's all the same step by step. So we want to, to click on custom. Then it's saying IP address settings. We're going to go to manual. So this is where the where we're gonna change it. So yours said whatever, right? Uh one nine two point one six eight point something point something or ten dot zero dot zero dot something. So you want to keep the first three sections the same. Then I wanna change mine to one 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 instead of um one one four. So how you see that the ten dot zero dot zero dot those three are the same, then I change the 114 to 111, that you can do. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Now the default gateway, 
uh, as I said, you wanted to write all of that down and just put it in here. So 255.255.255.0. Essentially, we should all have the same for the subnet mask, but the default gateway is going to be different. So whatever your default gateway was, you're going to put that in again. Oops. Uh, square. So default gateway. Enter in that. Oops. I messed up. Uh, oh, ah, dang it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Now, as for your primary, um, I should have specified that you should copy your primary and secondary DNS. Now, if you didn't, that's completely fine. You can just type in what you just typed in on the default gateway and it'll, and it'll work fine. So you can just put in uh 10.0.0.1 or whatever your default gateway is and they'll work just the same or um i have in another video that talks about 1.1.1.1 and dot it talks about the primary and secondary dns so if you want a faster download just change it to 1.1.1.1 and 8. Dot, or excuse me 1.0.0.1 one. I'll also have links talking about the primary and secondary DNS. Um, then this will work in the States. I don't know how it is in other countries, but I will have everything in reference in the description down below. That will help out with you. You can even use Google's DNS, which is 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4 for the secondary. Now leave uh, MTU automatic then don't do not use unless if you have a proxy server then it's going to be like hey you know um okay so everything is successful except for the playstation network sign-in if you guys are wondering it's because i have to um update the system software which i have not updated my system that's why it's not signing into the ps4 so i'm not worried about downloading the ps4 update i should like do that right now might as well so um it's actually already doing that it's cool ready to install let's go ahead and do it all right guys um i hope that will do it for this video um if you guys like go ahead and you know leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video um i will if you have xbox or nintendo switch i will have those in the links in the description as well so you guys can be well informed i will see you guys in the next video you all take care Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.